On today's episode of RC Kicks, we're making a banger. Oh, did I actually crack that? No, I don't think so. Something fell off. Camtech Motorsport sponsors RC Kicks. Hi, and welcome to RC Kicks. Yes, on today we're doing something a little bit different for RC Kicks. We're building a full on banger that has these really hard bodies so that when you drive it around you can crash them into each other and things like that. Now, if you haven't heard of Camtech, you might recognize this from a previous episode. This is a Camtech car that I bought myself and I've built up mainly to, to suit what I was looking for really, but you can put a banger body on this chassis. So uh, Camtech were kind enough to send me over this kit so that I could show you guys what it's all about now this is totally new for me and one thing i was really surprised at is just how hard these bodies are so cutting them out is going to be a bit of a challenge so what we're going to do is we're going to open up the box see what you get inside and then we'll build it up and then i will paint up some of the bodies now obviously you'll paint them up from the outside so uh, i could probably use car paint and some lacquer and stuff like that i have got some decals as well which are in the box that i have picked up that i'll be putting on them like banger proper banger decals i'll put a picture up here of what they look like um, so yeah, it's going to be interesting. So let's check out what you get in the box. So the first thing is they have loads of different bottles, uh, bodies that you can choose from. This is a Jag, which is a S-type Jag. Then there's an old Granada body, but they do loads from Beatles to all kinds of things. So uh, you can pick and choose what you want. They even do long limo ones and small little tiny ones there's loads of uh, options for these bodies cutting it out i think is going to be a bit of a challenge and a bit new for me but i've got a few ideas of how i'm going to deal with that so right let's have a look and see what you get in the box so here's all the decals that i actually picked up um, these didn't come from cantec these come from a guy on facebook um, I'll put a link below to his uh, website if you're looking for stickers. See, he did some for RC Kicks as well as he did some from Camtech as well. He's got uh, quite a few in a range. Um, KTech Signs is his name and uh, I'll put a link in the description and everything. And a massive thanks to him because he just sent these to me to stick on the car. Um, so it should be quite cool because you can paint it up and then put all these banger style stickers on it. So I look forward to that. So this one's going to be a bit of an interesting one for me and it should be a bit of a laugh. Right, let's have a look. So we've got a manual. Then what have we got in here? We've got some like little numbers that go on the top that you fit them on and you stick your banger number on it. That's pretty cool. Got a couple of those. Um, tires. Now this kit <coughs> has got quite a few bits and pieces in it. So you can obviously option a lot of these parts and this is what Camtech sells. So they sent me a, a few sets of different tires, some really cool chrome ones. Then you've got some other kit tires as well. We've got a, a silver can Camtech motor. Uh, we've got, what else have we got? We've got a couple of uh, Futaba uh s3003 standard size servos got two of those and a mechanical speed controller so that'll be cool that's something very different for me um and then what else we got metal massive metal plate so this is really designed for taking some abuse uh god that is that is pretty thick uh and then what else have we got we've got things we've seen before in my other one which is like the back housing and i've got a, a rear uh, shaft, servo saver, uh, a few bits that I haven't had be previously of some sort of bulkhead or something. Um, don't, I'm not quite sure what that is. Some turnbuckles, some arms, and uh, another upright. So slightly different uprights for this kit. And uh, bearings, comes with bearings as well. So there's bearings in the kit. Right, I'll cut to a montage. You can take a look at it all and then we'll come back and we'll build it. Shouldn't take me very long. Should be pretty easy and uh, looking forward to... The bodies are what really interests me because they're so different. 
and uh, yeah I've got some car paints so I'll see if I can come up with some funky ideas to paint it after painting some polycarbonates from the inside it makes a change to do one from the outside um, I'll probably end up picking up another kit because I think these could be really good for someone who's got younger kids I didn't realize just how bashy they were so um, it could be quite a nice way for someone who has got a youngster doesn't really want to go down the road of picking up a kit like this because they're a bit more fragile but likes the idea of giving a, a, a very simple RC car to youngsters so they can bash them into each other and uh, they're quite easy to build so I think that could be a potentially a good a good thing for someone with younger children that you wouldn't worry about these um, right anyway that's enough waffling let's take a look at what you get uh, in the box Right, while you were watching that, I laid out everything ready to start building. One thing I noticed, oh my God, look how thick the chassis plate is. That's the sort of thing you see on Kevin Talbot's channel when he's jumping it on 6S. So uh, yeah, this is built to take a bit of a pounding, I think. And also, uh, I've got a few options that I've been throwing in here, different types of tires and wheels. Um, you can pick and choose, and as well as all the bodies, so you can really personalize this. We've got some kind of cool old retro hubcaps, uh, as well as some um, sort of more alloy wheel style, so you can pick and choose those. I'm not sure what which ones I'll use yet, I'll have to see. Um, another thing, we've got the mechanical speed controller which is very different to what I'm used to with Tamiya. You actually put the servo up inside and uh, through the hole, and then the top goes on there, and then that's what rotates. Now, I'm guessing that what they do with this is because it's more rugged, because this is going to take a hell of a beating that they went with this. Plus, uh, I'm guessing it's not quite as precise as having an electronic speed controller, so it makes it a little bit more of a challenge when you're trying to bash and drive around the track and stuff like that. I will fit this in the car, um, just to try it and see if I'm if I get on with it, I'll leave it. If not, maybe I'll put an electronic speed controller in it. I honestly don't know. It's got a Dean's connector on the end of it, so I'm guessing you can run a 2S LiPo through it. That'd be cool. Um, so uh, yeah, that'll be good. Um, other things you can do, you can pimp it a little bit if you want to put a uh, diff in the back of it instead of a fixed axle. Um, they do do an option. It's a Schumacher option that you can do in a little car like this. Is it's not going to be making much of a difference. It's purely for a bit of fun and to pimp it out a little bit. I've done it on my other one. It's not that an expensive option. Um, so there you go. Right, that's enough waffling. Let's go and build the chassis. Now you have to drill out the servo saver to fit the ball joints. Be careful if you're doing this or if you prefer just change to a different servo saver. Don't forget to center your steering servo before you fit the servo mount and mount it in the car. If you don't it's not the end of the world it is possible to adjust it without having to remove it from the chassis.
made a little mistake here. The tie rod is connecting to the upright and the ball joint is on the longest part of the arm. So the tie rod is tilting back slightly. It should be on the inside point so that they sit straight across from the service saver to the uprights. As you can see, the tie rods are angling backwards slightly. This is incorrect. Before you fit the motor cage to the chassis make sure you put the nuts in position 6 and attach part 9. If you don't you'll be taking the cage off to put the bolts back in like I did. <laughs> As you can see the kit goes together really easily and everything lines up just as it should. There's no real fighting this kit at all so uh, top marks for precision. After a couple of hours work it's all done, nice and easy and a real joy to build. And there you go, the little fella is done. Bit different to the other one that I built. Precision wise, no different whatsoever. Quality of parts is great, everything goes in really easy. The only negatives is still, I'd say, the manual, but I know the guys over there are working on improving the manual, just refining it to give you a little bit more detail. There's also, um, when you get the whole thing, there's lots of little bits to it. You've got the mechanical speed controller, 
whether you'll get the mechanical speed controller or not, I mean, this is so it fits in with the rules of racing for banger racing. But if you're going to be blasting this around out in the street, or you're going to give it to a younger person to bash around and things, you'll probably end up just sticking in a very standard electronic speed controller and there's plenty of room for it. So it's super easy to fit this. Um, so no difference that, but I'll do it as per the um, racing rules so we can see what that's like first because it's a bit of fun and I've never played with a uh, mechanical speed controller like that before. Um, right, one other thing, the batteries. Now the kind of batteries that I'd like to see in it are these kind of things, the standard Tamiya batteries. You know, you've got your two, a 2S LiPo and then you've got your standard um, 7.2. Now they, they do fit into the chassis, no problems at all, they would go in. The main issue is that there's no way of actually mounting them so that uh, they don't slide out. So hopefully what, what all you need is a set of little mounts to, to go over from the chassis down. The chassis is actually perfectly wide enough um, to take both. So running that on 2S would be super fun. Um, so it just needs some mounts, but that's easily done with this top plate. You could just have another hole there, another hole there, and then just a bracket. So uh, I don't know whether they'll do that or not, but what I'll probably do is just use a bit of tape for now. Put a bit of tape around there, just so I can actually drive it on 2S. Um, just, just to see how fast it goes. Um, no issues building it, it all goes together super smooth. Um, I went with the standard motor um, that was in the kit, just so we can see what it's like as stock. The other one that's got a sports tune motor in it, but we'll go completely stock to start with, and then whether I'll change it out for something a little bit hotter or not, I honestly don't know. I'm guessing that's a standard silver can, but uh, I just don't know. Right, I'll fire it up for you. It's a little bit lively with the mechanical speed controller. So what I'm gonna do, I'll use these other, because for some reason it, uh, it decides it wants off the second I plug it in and then it settles down uh, for some reason, which is a bit strange. So here we go. There you go. It's all... It's very... Uh, the mechanical speed controller is very on or off. You've got on and on. <laughs> There's no... Yeah. It's just go and go. <laughs> you get two speeds. But it was really easy to fit and it was to calibrate. That was pretty straightforward stuff. So it's very simple, works really well. So uh, there you go. So we'll take it out for a spin as soon as we can. What's next? Now we've got to build the body. Now I've decided I'm going to go with the Jag. Um, so that's next. What we've got to do is trim it out. I'm not sure whether I will cut the windows out or paint them black. I honestly don't know. Um, I'm not sure. I'll think about it. But what's first? Right, we've got to cut it out first, I guess, and then mount the uh, holes and stuff like that. Right, let's crack on and do that. Check out one of these videos for some more RC fun. <laughs> 